so I went to the group. You guys understand the pretense of me before the group and now I'm going to the group and what I kind of went through in the group. She's the cult leader's wife the whole time. Like, if there's any woman that's ever been with Eligio that is off limits, it's her. Real life. You mentioned Velvet. Yeah. Uh, she is here with you. Yes. Um, if you don't mind, just, I want you to speak on her, but if you don't mind, can I bring her into frame and have her sit down next to you and have you speak on on the essence of what Velvet is? I thought and, she never asked. Okay. I, I mean, seriously, um, but can I get you and definitely bring bring everyone, bring everyone. Yeah, yeah, you bring, can. Bring, bring the girl. Bring everyone, because. Um, it's all good. Yeah, yeah I, I want you to be able to, um, have a conversation in which, um, you know, the story that you just told, of course, always comes full circle and there's always more story to tell. And uh, we, sp we say these names and, you know, on y'all own platforms, they see who y'all are. But of course, on this couch, of course, I want to be able to say a name and have people be able to see who, Actually, who we're speaking of and kind of go through there. Um, if you don't mind, we are welcoming, uh, we are welcoming uh, Velvet to the couch as she is right here by your side, right here to support um, uh, with her beautiful daughters. Uh, you can see right here. As we are here to um, just, I just quickly want you to even touch on, Ooh. you know, your history personally with Velvet as far as Correct. even coming in and how you met her and then how you exited with her in town. So that's crazy. Um, I have to go in the intro because I never exited with her. Okay. How we ended up meeting was actually very interesting. Um, so I went to the group. You guys understand the pretense of me before the group and now I'm going to the group and what I kind of went through in the group. She's the cult leader's wife the whole time. Like if there's any woman that's ever been with Eligio that is off limits, it's her. And wow. we're never knowing why. Like, we're knowing why. We just know he really likes her. Um, she's on the way. You know, he, she's, she's pregnant by him by the time I meet her. She's already, like, what, like six months, seven months in already. And I'm like, it's like six months in already. Uh, already. And, you know, this little one isn't even here yet, Ellie. And, um, yeah, she's a cult leader's wife. I have to study her day in, day out. Like, I'm an astrologist, so like I do astrology, but I've never had to study somebody's chart more than hers. I didn't even study Eligio's chart as much. Eligio would have me, yeah. The way you wanted to study her, or he would have you study? Eligio would have okay. me study her chart so that he would know, you know, is she gonna, if she left, is she gonna come back, or is she gonna do this? Where is she at in this process? If she can do that, oh, what are her, what are her angels? What are her demons? Oh, look at her. She's in her demons. Oh, it's her. See, I'm, I'm, I'm a good guy. I'm a Leo. I'm a good guy. It's her. She's tripping. She's tripping. Y'all, you see that? She's tripping. And the whole group, everybody thinks she's fucking nuts. From when I meet her, we're thinking she's crazy. I'm thinking she's nuts. I'm thinking she is his crazy wife. She's a mute. She does. She's like, she just breaks stuff. She's just vol volatile for no reason. She's with the greatest guy ever. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, why are you acting like a child? Like, grow up. And everybody kind of like, look at her like that. Cause he puts that narrative out. We're never knowing her side of the story. Now I heard her side of the story after this and I'm understanding her energy. And I've finally been able to spend my own time with her. And I was able to realize what was really happening. And you know what? Very, very similar to Jack and Goomba. Very, very similar. If you gave Alihio a gun, got the same situation and you add a bunch of other women into the mix and then you make goomba good looking and charismatic and then give him a couple of goons to do stuff for him like yeah women gonna be a little interested and in, in like, okay okay who's this dude he seemed like a boss he seemed like a king okay so let me ask you that and so we looking for a mature woman we waiting for a queen to come in for him we went for the, the baddest bitch to come in for him and we thinking She's just this immature little girl. Is she in a way? So as you're reading her, what are you personally feeling as what you're seeing? I get that. I wouldn't even have even really cared about, you know, she spurred so much in me. I wouldn't even really have cared to even go to Carpenter at all when presented. If it wasn't for me knowing that 
like I had, she had did this, this is what it is. It wasn't her specifically. I didn't even put this together then, but she did a video with a poem and she was doing a poem of speaking of like, just of love and like how she, it was just beautiful how she did the whole thing, right? I saw that poem. I'm like, Carbonation is dope. It's lit. And then they did a song called Back Jumping and she's sitting there next to him and they're at the top and it's like a throne. It's like a king and a queen. I'm like, oh, this shit organized now. Oh, this is jumping. Yeah, okay. I got up. I was dancing. I was happy. And I was really excited for the whole thing because I'm like, there's some structure and some order. It's like a real God's army over there. Niggas in the knowledge. Everybody living in the truth. I'm not knowing these people don't know what what they, what they teachers teaching. I didn't know, I thought they masters. I'm thinking everybody masters at this stuff for some reason. I'm not thinking they're students, I'm not. I'm thinking these, I'm going with the elites, the best of the best. They all know, they all know. And it's not that, so yeah, I get there, start thinking she's crazy. I'm seeing her beat her a couple times. One of my first times really even interacting with her, having a moment to share with her, was her passing her my favorite towel that I always been carrying with me for years. That's a maroon blood red towel. Uh, and like giving it to her to wipe the blood off of her face from him smacking the shit out of her. Like, wow. And, she, and I, let, me, let me say this. It's like, I, I'm say certain things, but I don't know if she allowed, she gonna speak on certain things. I'm gonna say certain things. That's what I experienced. Perspective. I had to get, that's when I gave my towel to her the first time. This is, this is out of the country. You know what I'm saying? We in the middle of the road. There's no police around. It's like, what you gonna do? Yeah. And that was kind of like the message to her that from him was like, what you, you I could kill you. Right. Like I could kill you. and she's. I'm not knowing she's living with this a lot. This is me barely getting on. I'm thinking that this is just some toxic shit. She, I'll be tripping. He's this great guy in our view already, and there's other women who he could be dealing with. So why, why would he be invoking this in you? Like you're tripping, and so I'm like feeling bad for her. After getting getting known for a while, I remember there was one time we had to give our opinions about about them, where we we're giving like praises or something. And I remember I went up to, I was on my knee. And I'm like, Lee, you're like father nature. I give him a, a good cliche thing, but I'm like, with you, Velvet, you're my mom, you're my sister, like put together, and my dad, like put together. She has the same scar as my dad. She she wow. looks like she has the same um, sign as my mother, acts just like my mother, and just like my sister. And she actually kind of like to me, she looks like all of them put together. You know what I mean? And it's just nuts. And I told her, I said that and this is very early. He, they're they're. A thing at this time. I'm not. I'm just a. I'm just a humble, you know, servant. And I'm telling her, you look like Mother Nature. You look like, you know, just so godly, like uh, the moon, like the spirit, the essence of a mother, like the spirit of a mother. Like, and I was telling her that she's like my sister, my mom, all that. And it's just like you're just. I don't know. From that moment, I remember I was saying that to her. I had a very deep reverence and respect for her. That was you could almost say was delusional, from where I was at. Okay. But that's what I had for her. And she was always just this special object to me for all these years. And um, it was never like I was ever infatuated with her. It's like when you say, I love Jesus Christ, you're not like, I'm trying to fuck you. It's like, no, it's like, <laughs> like Jesus, hallelujah. And that's what it was like. It's like, oh, it's like a love. It's like a reverence, a respect. It's like, oh, you're special. I, okay, cool. Like, don't mess with that. Don't touch that. I'm not like, oh, I got to hit that. I got to get some of that. It was never that at all. Like, it was never even like, I want to be your friend. It was, baby girl, it was always just like um, respect. Well, they say most men are attracted to those people who, women who are like their mother. I'm and, attracted to. And women are me. attracted to men who are like Uniform. their father. And. Yeah. Like, I mean, for you to say that, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. That's deep. That's deep. But, but I've seen that in other relationships too. Like with Zoka, I've seen a little bit of my sister and my dad, you know, and my cousin Danielle and her. I've seen, you know, a little bit of this and that person and that. Her though, it's weird, bro. Like her connection with like my, my family, her family, bro. Like, I'm gonna let her speak for herself. Yeah. But what I'm learning about her father. And me and her father having so much in common, it's like, it's really weird. I see why Eligio kept us so separate for so long. I get it now. He felt the chemistry way before we felt the chemistry. And I remember one time she asked me to make like patty dough, dough like dough for like little Jamaican patties. And I was like, she showed me how to do it. I'm on my knees sitting there watching. I'm next to her. He's like, I can't believe you. Like, you want to be with my wife? You too close. But you uh, like him? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, I see your eyes. I'm like, nigga, yeah. I'm like, it's dope, bro. <laughs> and like, but I mean, I'm, I've been ex ex punished for days, weeks. For one time, I gave her a hug and I like picked it up a little bit because my friend did it. Tron did it. 
He hugged her and he picked her up and they've been they've been friends for a long time and it was cool. So then she came to my turn. It was my turn to hug her because she came back. I hugged her. I give her a little pick up too. What's the punishment for for days weeks? What does that look like? I had what I had been. I'm always at the top rank, right? I had to be demoted to the very very bottom for oh, weeks. Wow. So that means I had to do all the extra cleaning and stuff. Shit, I did anyway. <laughs> uh, I did all the extra cleaning things like that, and then on top of that, um, I didn't get to be with my wife. I didn't get to spend time with my wife at the time. And, and so, so that's being taken from me. And then also, um, so the wife, you what was it? The rank. It yeah. yeah, it was the rank. And then, oh, I had to stand in the corner for like seven hours. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. God, see, when you say stuff like that. That day, that day, no. that day, I stood there seven hours. So, so, so wait, 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 wait. I was so disciplined on myself. They offered me food and I'm like, no. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm, 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 I got this. I mean, when you say things like that, I'm like, nigga, I'm like, fuck this corner. And fuck. Everything. Yeah. What makes you I'll say hit. I'll stand in this corner for seven hours? You just mentioned discipline, which I respect that. I didn't know Eligio was a liar until after I left the group. I mean, even like it was like two or three months after I left the group did I barely find out that he was actually a liar. Mm. I know that sounds crazy to say, but I know he was he has he's he's a black man, you know, being spiritual. He likes this, he likes Hennessy, he likes this, he likes that, he likes those things, and so I don't want to take that from him. You feel me? So I'd give that to him. I'd be like, that's you. That is you being you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um So I have to ask then, what do you feel and I mean not what do you feel, but also if you know, what is his thoughts on y'all's situation right now? I think you really want to know what I think? Yeah, I'm just I think he knows what time it is. I think he's very grateful. I think he knows that there is no better outcome for Ellie. Okay. I'm her so godfather. He's thinking not of her. I've been carrying her around since she was out the womb, walking. She talking about what's that? What's that? I'm teaching her everything. Like I've made sure I'd be going out in the streets looking for medicine for her and outside of the country so she could breathe at night. I'm doing all kind of crazy things to make sure this little girl is having the best possible life. And it's not even like I'm looking at it like I'm gonna get with Velvet and we go to go. I'm like, no, it's just respect. That's the chief's wife. Her daughter needs help. Come on, like this is this is what we stand for. Why wouldn't I give everything for that? And I did. I did. And I stayed around in many situations where I shouldn't to be there for everybody else. So I will take, I'm the guy who will take the lashings for the group, for the for everybody else, but they're trying to make an example out of me and still like push through that and still do more and above and beyond. That's my energy. So it's like that being used against me, it looks really bad. I'm not gonna lie to you, brother. The way y'all sitting there is in the aura and the, the way y'all are set up right now, I know he's not happy. There oh no, no, no he cannot. <laughs> Yo, I think and for when her, he sees this, for no, her, no, for her, hey, and listen, yeah. I got, I'm glad you said like that. For Everything her, else, for her, she's happy. But to see you next to Velvet, oh. rubbing that, rubbing that shoulder, looking in her eyes and sweet nothings. What what man wants they to see another? Know. What man wants to see know. a better man taking care of his child? Sheesh! No man. It doesn't... How are you over there taking care of the child that I didn't want to take care of? You know what? You know you <laughs> said what? Go ahead. Men should be responsible then. Yeah. If that's the if that's the case, You're... then they should be responsible. Yes. And if they're not going to be responsible, then they should go in the corner. <laughs> put themselves in the corner. That part. His turn in the corner. Goddamn. Um, with that being said, as of right now, um, as of your exit from Carbonation, Velvet's exit from Carbonation, Bobby. and we're going to speak to Velvet, but I just want to know as far as how are y'all doing right now? Because we watch y'all online. We've seen after the whole Jaguar situation, uh, she was she herself was investing in y'all's uh, relationship. She was, she was investing in the kids and the babies. And then we seen y'all kind of had a little situation that might have took things left. But yeah, y'all are here right now, united um, as a united right. front. Um, how are y'all doing right now, um, just again, as a unit? So like I was saying about the Jaguar thing and Goomba, it's like they had an issue. He had an issue with the fact that she was so obsessed with our relationship, making sure I was taken care of. I'm, I'm really hurt and she's knowing that. Um, she's believing Velvet's a good girl. And from what I'm saying about her, you know, and she wants us to come back together. And so me and Jag, a lot of her stuff is predicated on that. She bought gifts for Velvet. She's bought multiple gifts that I can't even talk about, you know, for her big gifts, small gifts. And I'm just like really grateful, you know, for her energy at all. But this was our relationship and the success of our relationship was like driving a wedge in between Goomba and her because it's like their relationships falling apart while they're putting ours together. And so I could see his perspective 
from that standpoint. No, definitely, man. Um, yeah. It, man, I, I swear, it's uh, your story, again, when I go online, I see hours of videos watching what your story is and, yeah. and is currently going on still to this day. And it's crazy because it's too much to consume. And one day, I hope there's a book, I hope there's a movie, I hope you yourself write music that kind of tells this whole story to kind of give us all a real introspective look on what really happened and just kind of be able to take the journey with you. And again, you're still writing your story. So, you know, we're yeah. just, that's a part of your life that you're still young and I don't want to, anyway, we're going to go all the way through there, but man, it's a, definitely a blessing to be able to have you um, come through here, tell your side of what the situation with Jaguar was, but also really just kind of give a little slight inclination of what your mentality and psychology was behind going into carbonation. I hope this does redeem not only yourself, but some people who had just assumptions about what mm -hmm. things were. Real life street star.